What's going on everybody? Chase on Tools here in front of Triumph Roswell. In front of me, I've got a 2023 Triumph Tiger 850 Sport. Obviously it looks like an ADV, but this one's kind of interesting. Cannot wait to try this one out on the first try today. You guys stick around to the end of the video to find out if it is a purchase or pass. It's a first try idea. Let's see what it looks like and let's see what it sounds like. Alrighty guys, that's what it looks like, that's what it sounds like. Now, before we get on this little beast, we gotta cut to an ad real quick so we can pay some bills. I know a lot of you guys are like me and love the excitement and sense of freedom that comes with riding. For many of us, it's not just about riding the bike, it's a form of mental escape and balance in an otherwise hectic life. Now, riding clears my head, but there are times where it just doesn't feel like the full answer. I've often thought about talking to a therapist for my anxiety and stress, but the idea of physically going to a therapist felt like a really big step I probably wouldn't take. This is where BetterHelp steps in. They're the sponsor of today's ride. They bring therapy into the digital age. It's as easy as opening my laptop for a video call, which really works with my schedule and is something that I'm already used to doing. If you're dealing with stress, anxiety, or just need somebody to talk to, BetterHelp could be the solution. It's a convenient mental health pit stop there when you need it. If y'all want to check out what BetterHelp offers, click that link in the video description. It's just betterhelp.com slash chase on two wheels. Using that link actually gets you 10% off and it supports the channel. Guys, taking care of your mental health is just as important as keeping your bike in top condition. Now, let's get back on the first ride and see what this bike's all about. Alrighty, my friends, thank you for sending through the ad. It uh, massively supports the channel, and we really appreciate it, and keeps up with your mental health. We love that. Alrighty, let's get on this thing. Man, this driveway is angled as hell. Let's get her on here. <laughs> that triumph turn-on sequence. Slow and steady, easy does it. Oh, I do already have my phone on my quad lock. We just, uh, handlebar mounts are so easy, man. I love them. Makes it so simple for quad locks. Let's get this video started, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, I'm on a bit of an angle, so you guys can't really tell here, but I'm 5'10", I got a 32 inch inseam, and I've actually got bent legs on both sides of this. I would not have thought that I would have such bent legs, so, uh, you shorter riders actually <laughs> might have an ADV bike you can fit on. Alrighty, let's get this thing going. You guys are here to see me ride it. Bye! Alrighty, my friends. Before we uh, get off onto the escapades of the road, I do want to remind you guys we have a Discord full of motorcycle enthusiasts just like yourself. Check it out and hang out with people that we have there. Oh shoot, we have modes and I didn't even mention it. We have road and rain and I'm in the wrong one. Oh no, I'm in rain now. Sorry about that. I got too excited. Oh, close throttle. We're now in rain mode. Okay, you guys just... Look, watch my hand. You never saw me accelerate out of the dealership. You never saw me accelerate out of the dealership. It kind of looks like rain mode might be the mode we need to stay in if uh, this weather keeps looking like this. Man, it is so windy today. So uh, if you guys hear me complain about the wind or something, just know that uh, we are trying desperately to film this video a little early because there's a massive storm coming in and I can feel it. So I'm gonna get blown around a little bit today. So uh, just keep that kind of stuff in mind. 
Oh my good god, the crosswind. So guys, the 850 Tiger is in kind of an interesting spot. A lot of you guys know Tiger has their 900. They have the GT, the Rally, the Rally Pro. There's a ton of models. And then Tiger has their big 1200 Tiger, or Triumph has their big 1200 Tiger. So the 850 is kind of in a strange spot, but I think it holds a whole different purpose than the other Tiger. And uh, we're going to get into all that in this first ride, or as much as I can uh, for you guys. But for now, let's, uh, let's get this first ride going. Alrighty guys, it's a first ride. Let's talk about the body position on this Tiger 850. Uh, one, we do have an adjustable seat on this bike, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure what I currently have the seat set in, but we've got a very comfortable seat. It's kind of tapered in to be a little thin up front, and that leads to you having better clearance to the ground because you don't have that super wide seat. But the back of the seat is really wide, very comfortable. I can definitely see this being the type of seat that I spend a lot of miles on. Now, as far as my lower half, my legs are only very slightly bent backwards. My top half is, you know, straight up, and my arms are relatively uh, forward, slightly down. Very comfortable body position. My hands are out pretty wide. I feel like I got a good purchase on the bike. Got really good control. I like this position for city, for touring. Uh, I think this is going to be a fantastic bike. But... That's it for uh, rain mode. I, I got through it. Look at that. I fixed it and I, I got back into rain mode and now I can get the hell out of rain mode. All right, uh, modes, uh, mode changing is super simple. Just a mode button and then uh, Triumph's directional dial here. Uh, rain mode did feel toned down and that's awesome. Good for that. Uh, the road mode's the fun stuff though. So that's what I'm here for. Oh, also the modes do change the power delivery and traction control on this bike. So it's an actual mode change. It's not just like slight power tweaking it is not fake all right guys let's talk about city performance on the tiger 850 sport now when i saw the photos of this bike it looked pretty big online and then when i came up to it and started riding it i realized it has the big look but once you start riding it it does not feel big at all the wide handlebars give you a lot of control so you know when you're maneuvering around stuff here in the city at lower speeds, those wide handlebars are so helpful to uh, make you feel like you have plenty of maneuverability with it. The transition from uh, feet down to feet up on the pegs is just about perfect for a 510, 32 inch inseam rider like myself. Uh, super simple, especially if you're gonna be doing that often. I love this height. This is gonna be fantastic for you. And I got to say, the power coming out of this uh, triple T-plane, it's an 888cc uh, triple that Triumph has in here, it feels so great in the city. And I'm curious how that's going to translate to the highway. Yeah, these triples are such good engines, man. They, they find a really good spot between the torquey power you would normally get out of a twin and then the you know high up revving power you would get in an inline four i think the triples are a really good spot and you get all that torquiness here on the city which is kind of where you want it right you want to have that torquey fun power to push you along so power wise it's absolutely fantastic the feeling in the throttle is also something i really got to you know point out because I feel so connected with what I'm doing with this bike. Love the throttle on this thing. I just feel in control. I'm in complete control. Uh, speaking of in control and what I'm doing, uh, I'm looking at these mirrors. They're vibrating a little bit. I don't love the way they look, uh, but they're working pretty well. They, uh, I can see plenty of stuff behind me. And because of my body position, I can just head turn all I need to get a good idea of what's going on around me. You know, if you're riding in the city or if you guys ride in the city, you guys know how important that shit is to uh, really have a good understanding of what's going on around you. You know, you got to keep that head on a swivel to stay safe. This bike is surprising me with how big it looks and how much presence it has compared to how it rides because it's almost riding like a little supermoto. <laughs> I don't know. It, it feels light. It, it, it feels maneuverable. And it's just giving me supermoto vibes, at least riding around here in the city. That's the first thing I'm thinking about. Let's get the leaned over and go through a turn. And then it's got the power. 
<laughs> oh my god, what a good city bike. This is great. Um, so guys, while we're chilling around, I want to talk about the difference of the 850 and the 900 because, you know, on paper, you look at 850 and 900 and why are there two Tigers that are so similar? But I've ridden the Tiger 900 and think it's a phenomenal ADV bike. But this is not an ADV bike. This is a road going touring bike with ADV looks. Uh, we've got cast wheels up front. I'll show you guys those later in the video when I do the walk around. Those things are not going to be great for uh, hitting anything when you're going off road. We don't have uh, turn offable ABS or traction control, I don't believe and we have non-adjustable suspension so while this bike might look very similar to the tiger 900 it actually also has a detuned engine so it's not going to be putting out as much power from what i can tell on paper it seems like triumph is making it an affordable option to get into their tiger line that, and now obviously if you need to do super super light off-roading and basically anybody can do super super light off-roading so it's not like this bike can't ever see dirt but if you ever want to even think about doing that kind of stuff i don't know if this is the bike you're going to go for triumph has given you this bike for like i think like two or three thousand dollars less than their tiger 900 so you know you don't have as many of the super nice features that you would kind of expect out of a big premium motorcycle but you also get into the triumph area like the triumph ecosystem for a few thousand dollars less like that's a that's a big old chunk that's pretty big uh but anyway that's kind of where I, I think triumph's doing with this bike but now i'm curious what this thing's going to be like on the highway because i got this adjustable windscreen we'll get to test that out and i want it to be good this is a bike that should be good at touring so we'll put it to the test Alrighty guys, green light means go. That means we gotta find out how fast this Tiger 850 Sport can get from 40 to 80 miles an hour thanks to our buddies over at Law Tigers. Of course, Law Tigers is our motorcycle lawyer friends that sponsor the first ride show. Thank you so much Law Tigers for sponsoring the show. All right guys, I'm thinking this might be a third gear situation. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. All right, we're gonna have to get going so this truck doesn't run me over. On your mark, gotta drop, get set, and go. Oh, that was a bad gear. I feel bad for it. I did wrong. Ah, I could have done that in first or second. That's my fault. Let me see the time, but just know, guys, that time could be better. I could have done better. I'll take uh, I'll take the hit on that one. And he failed me. All right, guys, we're here on the highway. We're in sixth gear, and we are chilling. I will say the first thing I'm noticing is relatively decent vibration in my handlebars and surprisingly the mirrors are only vibrating a little bit everything's getting a little blurry in the uh, mirrors but my handlebars have a decent amount of very tiny vibrations it's not too bad right now but if i was going to do a really big ride on this you know i don't know four eight hours something in between there i think that would slowly start getting to me now as far as wind resistance, we have the windshield in the lowest setting. I'm only getting wind to the very tip top of my helmet, but we can press this forward and up. Wow, that, that windshield does a fantastic job. That wind is going all the way over my helmet. Very nice job with that. I absolutely love that. And it was really simple to do. You just press it forward and go up or down. Now, as far as maneuverability here on the highway, a lot more stable once we are up to speed on the highway now. So this thing's gonna lock in. I just don't love the shaking I'm getting in the handlebars. Uh, it's not dangerous or anything, just a little annoying. And then the vibration on my boots, it's actually significantly less than the handlebars. So no problem with that at all. Even despite how windy it is today, this bike is tracking fantastic here. I mean, you, you would be able to handle some pretty nasty weather here on a bike like this. Now, unfortunately, Triumph did not put a uh, cruise control on this bike. It doesn't have any of the heated grips or anything like that. I'm assuming that's to get that price down, but I really wish they could have squeaked out at least cruise control because if I had cruise control, I wouldn't have to hold the throttle down and I wouldn't have to deal with the uh, vibrating handlebar as much. That being said, if you are gonna have to hold the throttle open, it's got a relatively medium to medium light pull on the throttle. So I got no problems there. Overall, pretty solid job. Suspension's doing fantastic. I'm super comfortable right now. 
And guys, I'm going to finish up the highway while we do a little montage. Thanks to our buddies at Ricardo. If you guys are looking for a music device that goes onto your helmet, I've got a discount code in the description for you. Check them out. I cannot ride without my Cardo, and I know you guys are going to love those things. Thank you for sponsoring the First Ride Show. Much appreciated. And uh, guys, overall, highway, not bad at all. The main issue, no cruise control and the shaking in the handlebars. That's the only thing that kind of gets to me on that one. Otherwise, absolutely fantastic bike on the highway. And now we're just parked going around a turn. <laughs> Surprisingly, the Tiger 850 leans in incredibly easily and tracks super well. The tires on here look more of like adventure tires but they're doing a great job I, I gotta check what tires are on here uh but this bike is eerily happy with being thrown over like it's almost wanting you to do that very happy with that thank you truck for not getting in front of me but yeah guys fantastic for the highway and uh really i'm really surprised that the suspension that's not adjustable we can do a preload in the rear but the suspension did fantastic leaning over. I'm sorry, I'm just checking that cop behind me to make sure he's not coming after me. All right, guys, let's talk about the, uh, oh, fire truck. Let's not talk about the fire truck. All right, guys, let's talk about this 888cc uh, T-plane that Triumph has put in there. Triumph is doing a beautiful stuff with triples right now, man. This engine detuned a little bit from their Tiger 900. It's kind of interesting that it's an 888cc and they call it an 850. So uh, you're getting more bang than uh, Triumph even says in the name on this bike. But power wise, I think this thing is delivering phenomenal power. Once I actually got on the highway, I got into six gear. I was kind of wanting for a little more power, but not enough to really complain about it. It was just a little bit more would have been nice in the top end or maybe a longer six gear, you know, something like that. Uh, other than that, though, the gearing's been feeling fantastic. Dude, look at the weather we're coming into. Boy, I gotta be quick today. We do not have the time to mess around. <laughs> oh no, I do not want this turned into a rainy first ride. Um, but yeah, so guys, the power's been fantastic. Suspension was surprisingly good. Uh, leaning, getting it leaned over and everything. I was a little worried coming into this with the uh, only preload adjustment in the rear. I was like, I don't know if that's enough to really, you know, get this bike dialed in, but it seems like Triumph has put it in a really great spot for road riding, you know, between the city, the highway, getting it leaned off that turn. I've been super happy with it, so I'm not really worried about the, um, the suspension. Now, the brakes on this thing are absolutely nuts. They've got Brembo Stylema calipers up front. Uh, if you don't know anything about brakes, they are a big boy brakes. They are absolutely serious. And they are more brake than anybody will ever need on this bike. Uh, they're almost too powerful to be on this bike. I'm, I'm not really sure why Triumph decided to go with those. Because of the geometry and the suspension on this bike, you're not gonna be able to take advantage of brakes like that. Uh, I'm not really sure, but you know, that was a really interesting move that Triumph decided to do, but you know, power to them. Give people freaking phenomenal brakes and see what's up. Uh, as far as the shifting in the transmission, absolutely chef's kiss. There is a very fantastic, you know, click when I go up through the suspension. I will say there's not a quick shifter on this bike, but it is a uh, factory option if you want to uh, upgrade it. Uh, Triumph does offer a quick shifter. Um, if I understood correctly, Triumph actually offers like 60 or something uh, mods from Triumph, like OEM mods that you can get on this bike and quick shifters are included in that. So uh, Triumph has done a fantastic job of building out the accessories catalog for this bike and with Triumph being a more premium brand, I'm totally going to want to jump to the Triumph mods before I start going aftermarket. You know, they're, uh, they're fit and finished just so good all the time. It's so good. This is one of the nutty things, dude. My legs are so bent right now and I'm on a 
you know, sport touring uh, ADV style bike. Absolutely insane. Come on, weather, hold out on us. Da -na 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 -na. Boy, it's coming. That stuff is coming. Oh, shit. Why do you come? By the way, do you guys like that I chose to wear all my ADV gear today? I know this is not an ADV bike, like an actual ADV bike, but it does look like their ADV bike, and I realized I hadn't worn my ADV gear in a while, and I was like, you know what? We need to throw that stuff back on. I, I miss riding ADV. I can't wait till the weather gets a little better and uh, we start getting to make some ADV content. Uh, so guys, let's talk about the cluster up here and the, you know, the control panel and all that kind of stuff. It is one of the highlights on a trial, for me at least. Uh, as long as I don't get blown away <laughs> off this road. Uh, so starting off with the controls, the grips feel fantastic. Uh, super quality there. We've got a blacked out bar. We've got silver levers. I, would, I do wish the levers were blacked out uh, just to kind of fit the vibe better. They are adjustable. We do appreciate that. Uh, I find the clutch engages in a really smooth and a good spot uh, where I kind of want it to. So no problems there. I already talked about the brakes a little bit. Now the controls and the actual buttons. Everything's laid out like a lot of other Triumphs. Here on the right side, we have the mode button, the um, turn signals, the kind of directional pad, and then we have the brights button on the other side. Here on the right side, we have the uh, emergency lights, which is great, the kill switch, and we have the home button. That will take you to uh, like the home screen on the dash. And uh, let's talk about the dash. Got a huge TFT full color dash up front. You've got four different lay display layouts that you can use. And I think Triumph is in the top three for how they have their menus laid out. Like, I just love menus that are one, easy to control with the controls on the bike. They do that. But the menu system, if it's super complicated, your controls can be super easy and it won't really matter. Triumph's controls are fantastic and the user interface is just super obvious where things are. Like you could never have been on a Triumph before. Jump on this, start using the D-pad and literally change anything you want and nobody would have to help you. Uh, I think Triumph has just done a phenomenal job with that. I think the screen is cool. Uh, it's good quality, it's, you know, good fidelity or whatever. And it can uh, transition from high contrast to low contrast, meaning uh, basically a white background with black text and a black background with white text. Uh, and you can set it to auto change. So I'm not gonna, I don't have the time to go through this menu, but guys, you can just go up and change literally everything on here. I could do an entire video on just the screen. I've actually done that before. It was on a, uh, a speed triple, I believe. I did a full video on literally just the menu system and uh, it's still just as good as when I did that video. Oh, the pegs, we do have the rubber inserts on the pegs. I imagine the majority of you guys are gonna, gonna wanna keep those. That helps with the vibration. And while the pegs didn't have that much vibration, they did have some, and the rubber is definitely helping that. So I would recommend keeping those in, especially since you're probably not gonna be doing off-road with this thing. I mean, that would be very ballsy to do off-road with this thing with cast wheels. You know, you hit one bad bump that you didn't expect to, and um, could be a bad day. Could be, could be. But controls-wise, guys, uh, Triumph, that is one of the things Triumph does better than almost anybody else on the market, is their fit and finish on everything you touch is so high level it's what i look at in a triumph and uh i am not disappointed on this bike whatsoever so guys uh we're gonna pull off up here and do a little walk around of the bike and uh, i know you guys have been looking at the bike with the camera car also shout out to all of our sponsors guys those companies allow us to have the production quality on these first drives that you guys expect so you guys supporting the companies that support us is a huge freaking deal so thank you guys so much for uh buying the helmets using the quad lock phone mounts <laughs> contacting law tigers if you need them uh just you know anybody that helps us out using your cardos you know all of that is super freaking helpful and allows us to do what we do for y'all thank you Ugh, sweet all right my friends 2023 triumph tiger 850 sport love the red the contrast with the red and the silver i think looks absolutely fantastic you can see those triple headers there kind of love that they're a different color than everything it looks fantastic um triumph engines always look freaking premium everything just looks intentional very much appreciate that this is that preload adjuster for the rear shock if you guys want to adjust that at all uh, as you guys can see this is that seat i was talking about kind of thin up front but then it widens out 
Love this seat. Wouldn't even need to get a different one. If you're doing pillion, you got a massive rear seat here with handrails, so going to be a great bike for two up. Um, and they even have like big ass uh, pillion pegs. So love that for you guys are going to be doing two up on this bike. That exhaust is absolutely massive. Damn. Holy goodness gracious. Uh, I'm actually not too upset about the, the tail. You know, typically tail tidy is the first thing you want to get, but I don't even think you need to do that with this one. I mean, I'd probably take these things off, but uh, I would. <laughs> that would be the only modification I would make. Um, but for me... That's a pretty slick ride. You do have the bigger front wheel, so you're gonna look at that and be like, oh, I could probably do off-road with that, but these wheels, they are just not made to like take big hits like you do off-road, so I would just be worried that if I hit like a big rock or something going off-road at speed, I would just be worried something's gonna happen with that. But here's a wide shot of the bike. I think it looks fantastic. I really like Triumph's Tiger look. Uh, I'm very much here for it. If I was going to buy this bike, what I would modify on it, I'd definitely get a diff different exhaust. <laughs> that thing is just too big. Uh, it kind of blends in well, but I just think it's too big. Um, okay, guys, so I'm going to grab my phone off my quad lock. Shout out quad lock, sponsor of the show. Love you guys a long time. Um, if you guys want a discount on quad locks, I got it in the description down below for you. Uh, so I'm going to film some stuff for our peeps over on Instagram and TikTok. If you guys aren't following us, we're at Chase on Two Wheels on TikTok and we're at C2 Dub Picks on Instagram. We post special stuff for those people. So go check it out. I'll be right back. Oh. All righty, my friends. That is it for the social media stuff. Oh, no. I left the bike on. All righty. Let's get back on this thing. Let's find out if it is a purchase or a pass and who the bike's for. After a steering system lock test, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell if she said she likes the motorcycle or the dog. All right, guys, steering sim lock test. It's on. It's an ADV platformed bike, so let's see what she's got. All right, here we go. I have high expectations. They are not currently being met. <laughs> All righty, that's not too bad. I kind of expected more. <laughs> Definitely the dog was into the bikes. <laughs> That's what she was saying. I can't tell if that lady was like, uh, I, I really like your bike, or she was saying the dog really liked the bike. Turns out the dog did. Uh, we love a dog that enjoys motorcycles. Our little, uh, our pup Oreo, every time he hears a motorcycle drive by, my wife tells me that uh, he perks up and starts looking out the window. And that is the most adorable thing ever. So adorable. Oh, we can go. Whoopsie. Alrighty, my friends, purchase or pass on the Tiger 850 Sport. Uh, so for me, guys, I love the idea that this bike is available. So if you're looking into a Triumph and you know you love the Tiger line, but you have absolutely zero interest going off-road, I love that this bike is an option. That being said, I would personally go pass on it and I would just save the money up and get a Tiger 900 because it's gonna be far more capable riding in all environments, both on-road and off-road. And when you're talking $3,000, I know that's a lot of money, but I honestly think it's worth it just to save up a little more. You know, save up for a couple more months before you uh, make the purchase. And I, I, I'm gonna recommend go up to the 900. I have ridden the 900, I think it's fantastic. And they have tons of uh, options you can get for the 900. Now, they're gonna raise in price even more, but uh, I would kind of go there. I think this thing is fantastic for road only use, but the fact that it doesn't have the cruise control is really killing it for me because what I would see myself doing on this bike mostly would be really long road touring. I think it would be so good at that. And it would be a really good city bike because of how maneuverable it is. But I, I, I need cruise control, man. I need it. I need it. I got to have cruise control if I want to do those really big long days. And without having that here, I, I can't really I can't really go with this over, you know, something else in Triumph's lineup. So for me, that's what I'm doing. But you know, some of you guys don't care about cruise control like I do. In that situation, this bike might be fantastic for you. Also, guys, shout out to Triumph Roswell. They are the dealership that let us loan this bike out. We're going to have a bike provided by link in the description. If you guys are looking for a Triumph, they are the place to go to. Thank you guys for loaning us the bike. 
And guys, that's all I got to say on the 2023 Triumph 850 Tiger Sport. If you guys made it to this point in the video, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you sticking through the entire video. You guys are absolutely awesome. Hopefully this video helped you out in either making a bike decision or something like that, or at least brought you some value. And uh, you're in the outro crew, which means you made it to the end. Make sure you leave a comment down below after you like the video. Put OC in that comment. That lets me know you made it to the end. And let me know, do you like the idea of getting a lot of the premium quality you get out of a Triumph for a lower price with the 850 Sport? Or would you rather just save the few thousand dollars up a little more and go for the Tiger 900? Let me know what direction you're going in in the comments down below. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. You guys ride safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.